Okay, I'm back. Didn't catch a striper, by the way. And uh, I haven't opened anything. I've literally just walked in the backyard. And I'm gonna check it out right now, I guess. Let's see it. I, saw, I just saw one bee fly away. Oh, this is full of bees. Let's go. Let's go. Get your ass back in there, boy. Going back inside, man. Go right there. Go right there. Okay. This thing's full of bees. Oh. I don't know if I want to open it because I don't know if I can close it again, but I'm going to try. Oh shit, Loki, he was trying to sting me. Oh, Loki, he's angry. Okay. That looks so solid, though. That looks really good. Okay. That's fantastic. Sorry, homie. That's unfortunate. Apologize. Sincerest apologies. Okay. Boom. Oh, he stung me. This. What are you doing, man? For the queen! For the queen! Yeah, for the queen, my ass. We're in America. Alright, so I came back the next day. And we have bees. We have bees. They're circling. I need to check on what Steep in the Woods was talking about, about watching them. So I'm going to go watch that and then I'll be back. But the professional box obviously they're in the ace moving box right now because i'm moving out of this house right here <clears throat> um the professional box isn't coming in until tomorrow so hopefully they stick around till then and hopefully they don't make that too permanent of a home which i don't think they will because it's a cardboard box and it looks like they aren't sticking over to that tree anymore which is good so yeah, let's see. What's up, homie? Let's see what's going on at the hole. I don't know if that's good. There's a lot of them on the outside. I don't know if they're planning on moving today. I hope not, guys. All right, I'm using these pieces here to make what is gonna be their honeycomb. And it's pretty cool. I got the uh, maybe starter kit and oh, it was trippy. Um, it's coated all in these beeswax. Don't know why. Maybe that will make them feel more at home. Don't know. But yeah, it's all coated in that stuff, as you can tell. But yeah, I'm gonna make one right here. That is it basically, and then I'm just gonna put four nails into each of the corners, and then that'll be all. And I'll finish the rest of these up. All right, and this box here is the finished product, and this is some footage of bees pulling out dying or dead bees from the hive, which is was a good sign. It means that they accepted the hive actually, and yeah, they were carrying the dead bees out and they're piling up on the outside as you can see on the tarp there. So I'm out here moving some things, finishing up the moving process. And then I noticed that they were, looks like they're almost plugging up the hole here. Pause. Man, I'm not sure why. What's going on? But I'm glad they're all there and soon they're gonna be moved. Okay. Camera quality is terrible. Um, I'm gonna be using this to transport them over. I'm simply gonna put the ace box into this box. I don't see any bees. So this should be pretty smooth. Wow, I don't see any bees. Okay, this is great. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this comfortable. I'm just gonna do it. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Oh, hey, everybody. What's going on? You guys are out here. Cool. Boom. Okay. Those bastards definitely realize that they're in a box. So they're not happy. And I'm about to get these boys home. Let's go. I've succumbed to my first thing. It's 100% my fault because I'm in shorts. I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I think this was a good idea. I don't know what's going on here. But yeah, I'm trying to get them out into the box here. Okay, those things on my legs are in fact stinging. That's why they call it a sting, I guess. Those attacking me. Those attacking me, bro. Hopefully that's not gonna win there, bro. There's bees crawling on me, bro. I know. I hear them buzzing. But I got two stings, three, two stings on my left calf. Get off me! This might be one of the worst bee transfers ever. That was a lot more difficult than I think it should have been. Um, post game, uh, it's looking good though. It's looking good. We got them in the box, in the box, most of them. And the bees are attacking the lights. They're just they, they, some of them came out of there like a bat out of hell, man, and they stung the shit out of me, bro. I mean, I got stung like three, four times, maybe five. I know I got stung once on the back, but like for them, him to get through my hoodie and my shirt. He must have been just. All right, it's the next morning of the battle. And uh, they're all in there. You see the remnants of honeycomb on the ground that unfortunately I had to destroy. I'm sorry, guys. I know you worked so hard. They're definitely cleaning it out. Dead bees are starting to pile up on the outside, which is good. These guys are efficient. I think, uh, I, think I got a good group of bees here. Um, they defended their home valiantly against me last night and um yeah they don't take no sh they don't have to um but they're also native right there it was a natural swarm that i just saw on the trees so they should know the area pretty well and i don't think i moved them farther than a two mile radius so hopefully that doesn't come up and they fly out and then they go back to the last place that would suck um but there's a really big farm over there like a local farm that grows a lot of fruit and food. Cause I'm worried there's not enough shit in my backyard, flowers and stuff to pollinate for them. Obviously there's not going to be, even if I had a lot, but um, you know, within a two mile radius, there's something huge that they could access, which I feel good about. Um, I don't know about how competition works with beehives, but I know my neighbor has got one or two right over there in that yard. So these guys might have a little bit of trouble, bit of trouble trying to find pollen. If those guys are already getting it, I don't know. But um, we're gonna find out 
I'm thinking about giving these guys honey water, which I haven't yet. And uh, I gotta look more into what that is, because I don't even know.